So we got we got to we got to sort the, sort the show out a bit a bit more, JD. Yeah, right. I was explaining earlier in the day that design happens as we go along. Design because happens when it goes along. Yes, because, that's a good. Uh, uh, you like that bit? Yes, you think I that's could do right? a voiceover. Oh, all right, you do that then. Carry design on. Design happens, and we go along with it. <laughs> yeah, that's that's about right, isn't mm. it? Because. Um, Usually, we, we well, I, I think the original plan is that I do about half an hour at the start of the show mm -hmm. because of the variability in the buses. <laughs> you and run by the bus timetable, do you? Well, Chris has got he's got oh, right. the buses. The buses are various, and he's got he's got to have a bus come along with a gap well, in well, it. Chris is various as well. We're all various. <laughs> We're all, all subject to bits. variability. <laughs> yeah, vulnerability and availability. In a, in a, but if you're in a, if you are in a wheelchair, you need a bus to come along that's got a space in it. Yeah. To put the wheelchair in. True. And they may not come along um, in the, within the time span you first thought of. Right. We can hook him on the back. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can hook him on the back. It's, it's a long way from Cat's Weir to get here. True, and you're going to find the potholes, yes. So we think, actually, that the, you know, the idea that he'll arrive quarter past, half past or quarter two, that's, that's reasonable, and we can adjust to that. But I think, I think round about 11, JD, I'd, I'd like you to take over a bit. And you don't have to do 80s. You could do whatever you... you uh, yeah, I can find something. You thought. But I, I, should, I, I will just mention that you do do an 80s show on Access All Aerials. Mm-hmm. So those those people listening who would, who would like like more of that sort of thing, that's where they would, that's where they would find it. But um, design, we are, we are the leading design science DJs in terms of YouTube um, searchability. Well, isn't it... Coincidence. Mm. I've just tapped a button. Yeah. It says Will Pollard designed for science. Well, yeah. And I don't know why I did that. <laughs> <laughs> it's just come out of the blue. Air, so my finger just went straight for it. Yes. So there you go. Yes. And well, it's, it's an article it, it, you did, which is very good. Yeah. yeah. I liked it. Yeah. So that's why I made a copy of it. All oh, right. So that I can reread it again. Well, yeah, there are. I mean, I do do blogs and articles mm. and so forth. But let, let's just stick with the YouTube bit, JD, okay. because because you normally say you don't accept or you still have questions about it. I think you're waiting for the audience to to catch up with us or let us know that they'd like us to move on, mm -hmm. because you are that sort of radio person. So you normally want things repeated uh, for new listeners, as if we haven't said all this before. If we haven't said it at all. All right, we haven't said it at all. <laughs> yes. But it's still the case that if you look on, um, if you look on YouTube, if you put in Design Science DJ, mm. we do come up, the both of us. Mm -hmm. um, because what, what happened was the, the Science DJ turned up on YouTube, and that's arguing that there's already lots and lots of clips explaining most science. Mm -hmm. So teachers ought to use that a lot more mm -hmm. and effectively become DJs. Mm -hmm. And um, I thought, well, design science should be treated in the same way. And I think it was you who said, well, if you're going to talk about design science, DJ, what is the science of how you design a show? Yes. That's a reasonable question, isn't well, it? Well, you could say it was a bit of biology. Biology? It, biology, because it comes from the brain. Yeah. Yes. Uh, <laughs> getting clever here. Uh, then a bit, a bit of chemistry when it actually comes together. Right. Yeah. And right. it's a phys physical thing you're doing. There you go. That's true. <laughs> so we got those in there. Yeah. Yes. It's putting it into context so people can understand it. It took me a long time to what you know what you <laughs> what what you're saying here and <laughs> and now I've. You know, stood back a bit, and I said, "Yeah, well, we could we could uh, design something, right? You can design a program, but not necessarily that is going to be the design at the end product." Well, we don't necessarily stick with the design, do we? No, no, that's As right. As it goes along, no, that's right. No, you could you, you could have a uh, a talk or something like that, and say we're going to talk about you know Exeter, you know bygone years. Yeah. And that's what you're sticking to. And that you've right. designed that one. So that is a proper design. 
But if you're going to say, well, we're going to talk about it now on the radio, yeah. and it could come to absolutely anything. It could go off another different passageway or b different route. R yeah. So, so it's just an outline design. Yes, it's an outline design on on the radio. It's like it's like what we did last week. What did you do last week? You don't know what you did last week. Well, in terms of design, no in design is that the fact is that you were going to ring back, or Chris was going to ring in, and I had to accommodate you guys in the program. So, in order to to accommodate it. I had to do a bit of thinking of how to, where to put the other things I wanted to say in the programme, but not necessarily right then, it's, or two minutes past ten, or five minutes past ten, <laughs> what have you. It's like, well, you, I suppose if you look at commercial radio now, and you go into their studios and you look at their computers, it's all done to the last second. So that's already designed to actually finish on time, and that's it, so the next presenter can... You know, come in. But with this station, <laughs> anything can happen. You know, you, <laughs> you, we could merge into the next programme and we wouldn't really even know it. <laughs> <laughs> right. Which is all right, isn't it? It is. It, it's, it's a design, shall we say, an unknown design. Unknown design? Unknown design. It's not physical. It's probably chemi chemistry. <laughs> but so it's scientific to an extent. Yes, well, it is in a way because that's how we perceive how the changeover will happen. We think the good, the bad, and the ugly will be here. Yeah, we know, we we know that they, they, if they're here, they're going to play the same introduction music like we do at the beginning of the show. So when we hear that music, when we hear that music, then it's our time to. We've got to go. <laughs> okay. So, in, in, in a way, that is the chemistry, because that's the chemistry between this program and their program. Right. And the physical thing is, we got to get out of here <laughs> at that time. Yeah. But that's only, you see, that's only to do with um, FM radio. If we if we're moving into being online. Mm-hmm. I mean, this is a question I've asked you before, but yep. I, I'm going to ask you again, because yep. you didn't give me a very satisfactory answer, quite honestly. Sorry. Well, I'll try again, sir. <laughs> it goes like this. <laughs> you do an online show for Spreaker. Yells. Uh, called uh, The Five in the 80s, or something like that. The, the 80s, 80s Vog Voguing Show. The 80s Voguing <laughs> Show, yes. The 80s Voguing Show. Shows you don't listen to it, then. <laughs> well, I, I was trying to get a reminder what, it, what it's called. The 80s Voguing Show. Yes. But you try to keep it to exactly two hours. Yes. Well, why do you do that? Because it, in because terms I'm a professional guy, yep. and I I would desperately like to go home. I don't <laughs> okay. want to spend all night in the studio. I already spent two hours in this studio, and I'm going to spend another two hours in another studio. Now it's done. It's done because that's me. I like things to end relatively on time. Okay. All right. Yep. So and that's, and, that's and by two hours, I've had enough. You've had enough. <laughs> OK. No, I just, I just asked that question because yeah. um, design science, it can apply to education, it can apply to management. There's, all, there's lots of different people who sort of look at it. Mm -hmm. And I think it's possibly a way of coping with the, the digital disruption that's going on, whatever you think is going on. Yes, that, that is quite a disruption in my lifetime, probably in yours as well. Uh, where we have to now, you know, gone are the days of actually when you set, sat in a DJ's place, you actually did some work, but now <laughs> you just push a button. It's That's so it. easy. You know, I, I do my programme, I get my programme ready, you know, six or seven days before it goes out. So, yeah, so, okay. so when you say it's ready, how much work have you done on it at that point? I, I've done mixes. The mixes are all together. And all I have to use is my golden tone voice to go over it. So it's a new concept of my broadcasting ability, to say. And I don't know if I like it yet. Because <laughs> um, you're not actually in the studio doing any work. Oh. So it does such, but it's quite a total design. If you've mixed the whole show, the whole two hours, it's just one continuous mix you've already done. Well, no, it's not continuous. It's, it's several mixes. Oh. So I can, I can put jingles in between if I, if I want to. That's the whole thing. You go by the flavour of the programme. You've done one mix, and I already know what the mix is like because I've done that flavour at home. 
right. take that flavour into the studio and uh, then then try to apply it into a programme format um, with some other things like jingles or whatever of uh, Anna comes and talks to me we can talk talk away and I'll find something else because I've got loads of music it's actually doing it to the situation it's like this programme right. right you come we come here could be right. absolutely anything could happen and right. it has yes Chris is not going to be with us as it turns so out so we have to now compensate We'd, we we <laughs> rearrange a little bit yeah we rearrange the furniture and we've <laughs> and we've ordered the lattes and we okay so you, you have to go with the flow right. that's what I think with right. any, any show yeah. see most of my shows over the years have done, we've done, we've done you've gone in the studio and there they are you've got 10 10 45s you've got to play them you know, in that time and, and the jingles and everything is sort of piled up in piles you know yeah. so they yeah. of, of music and what we have to play but now you come in with a USB stick bung it in the back of the machine <laughs> <laughs> we will click and off you go. It's all done for you. So, so really, for, in terms of disruption, it's not mm. changed. Not changed the actual essence of the show very much no, at all. No, not 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 the flavour of the show. It's just uh, the uh, the ability to do fourteen shows in one week instead of one. Ah, <laughs> right. Okay. So the interwebby thing has not not changed radio as such, in your view. Well, it's changed it to take it to a different listener, she was saying. Right. Because now we can listen to on on the move. But I, I still, I'm still, I'm listening to on FM at the moment, and uh, so that's the old-fashioned way. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll stick with that. We'll stick with the the old-fashioned way, and I shall I shall press this button. This is Laura Umvula. Brother, can we still be friends? 